win the group and Italy will have to, to go to a two-legged playoff if they're to go through as well. After all the talk, the months of predictions, the waiting was over. Still time for some last-minute preparation for the England fans. The Italians seem better prepared. That the sight that greeted the England team as they emerged from the depths of the Olympic Stadium. David Beckham and Gareth Southgate, the surprise inclusions, after both were considered 50-50 the day before. For action, the first half brought few surprises. The Italians straight at England. But Zola's effort wasn't matched by accuracy. Albertini's elbow hit the spot. And England were down to 10 men for seven minutes as their captain Paul Ince had to go off to receive treatment. Italy continued to probe England's defences but never really threatened David Seaman. Maldini Senior looked agitated and Maldini Junior lost his head. The Italian captain injured himself tackling Ince and had to be replaced. Ince was hardly affected by the challenge as he produced England's best chance but he shot straight at Peruzzi. It was then that the headlines moved from the pitch to the stands. Fighting between English fans and Italian riot police had broken out in the Olympic Stadium. All the trouble that had been predicted by the pessimists had sadly come true and there appeared to be casualties. The game went on though and England finished the stronger. Beckham started the move with Sheringham knows he should have finished it the crowd trouble subsided in the second half but trouble for England on the pitch Italy weren't distracted from the fact that they needed a win Chiesa came close Del Piero tried every trick in the book his dive fooled no one the only penalty there a yellow card De Livio tried his luck from outside the box he was no better at tackling Sol Campbell takes some stopping that method earned him a red card. The Italians down to 10, with just over 10 nervous minutes to play. But it was the five minutes of injury time that provided more drama than the rest of the match. Wright beat Peruzzi, but agonizingly hit a post. 30 seconds later, Vieri headed just wide. That the difference between a playoff place and qualification. The final whistle for England signalled their World Cup final place. The Italian job complete on the road to France. Oli Foster, Sky News. I think we had enough chances to put the game away, but we dug in there.